the mystery is solved about the origin of the 30,000-year-old Venus of Willendorf. You're looking at her now. Now, the 11-centimeter figurine from Willendorf is one of the most important examples of early art in Europe. It's made of a rock called oolite, which is not found in or around Willendorf. Anthropologists, geologists, and prehistorians have now found out, with the help of high-resolution tomographic images, that the material from which the Venus was carved likely comes from northern Italy. Now, the Venus of Willendorf is a 4.4-inch Venus figurine found in 1908 at a Paleolithic site near Willendorf, a village in Lower Australia. In a new study published by the University of Vienna in collaboration with Vienna's Natural History Museum, researchers applied high-resolution tomography that suggest that the Venus originates from a region in northern Italy. Anthropologist Gerhard Weber from the University of Vienna used microcomputer tomography. Oh my goodness, what does that look like? Oh, there it is. To analyze the Venus up to a resolution of 11.5 micrometers, together with Alexander Lukender and Matthias Hotzhauser from the Natural History Museum of Vienna. The team procured a comparative sample from Austria and Europe for comparison to geologically determine the origin of the figurine. Now, the study found that tomography data from the Venus had sediment deposited in the rocks in different densities and sizes. In between, there were always small remnants of shells and six very dense smaller grains, so-called limonite. The later explains the previous mysterious hemispherical indentations on the surface of the Venus with the same diameter. Now, the hard limonites probably broke out when the creator of the Venus was carving it, explains Weber. In the case of the Venus's navel, especially, and we'll get to some of those pictures, they apparently made the virtue out of necessity. Now, this is an oolite. The team also found that the Venus's oolite is porous because the cores of the millions of globules or oolites, and you can see them here at scale with a penny, the makeup it had dissolved. Closer analysis also identified tiny shell remnants, just 2.5 millimeters long, that had been dated to the Jurassic period. This ruled out all other potential deposits of the rock from the much later Miocene geologic era, such as those in the nearby Vienna Basin. Now, analysis on the grain size of other samples revealed that the samples from the Venus were statistically indistinguishable from samples from a location in northern Italy, near Lake Garda. This remarkable discovery uh, is because that the Venus, or at least its materials, started a journey from south, the Alps, to the Danube, north of the Alps. People in the Gravitian, a tool culture of the time, look for an inhabited, fair, favorable locations. When the climate or the prey situation changed, they moved on, preferably along rivers, explains Weber. One of the two possible routes from the south to the north would lead around the Alps and into the Pannonian Plain and was described in simulations by other researchers a few years ago. The other way to get to the Lake Garda is to the Wachu would be via the Alps. Whether this was possible more than 30,000 years ago is unclear due to the climate deterioration that began at that time. A rather improbable variant is that they already had been continuous glaciers at the time. The 730 kilometer long path at the Esch, the inn at the Danube is always below 1,000 meters above sea level with the exception of 35 kilometers at Lake Rensisch. Now, the statistics clearly point to Northern Italy as the origin of the Venus Oolite. Nevertheless, there is another interesting place for the origin of the rock, and it would be in Eastern Ukraine, more than 1,600 kilometers as the crow flies from Willendorf. 
Now, the samples there do not fit as clearly as those from Italy, but better than all the others in the sample. An interesting connection here. The Venus figures were found in nearby southern Russia, which are somewhat younger, but look very similar to the Venus found in Austria. Genetic results also show that people in Central and Eastern Europe were connected to one another at this time. Now, the exciting story of the Lower Austrian Venus could be continued. Only a few systematic studies have so far dealt with the existence of early humans at this time in the Alpine region and with their mobility. Now, the famous Utsi, for example, where is he? There's the famous Utsi, only comes into play much later, 5,300 years ago, in fact. Using these Venus results and the new Vienna Research, Research Network Human Evolution and Archaeological Sciences, we want to further clarify early history in the Alpine region. In conclusion, what can we conclude? We can conclude that 30,000 years ago, there were advanced civilizations making advanced artistic representations of the Venus. The fertility doll. I mean, look at these. Well, anyway. It's quite obtuse. But the facts are in. Farming did not begin 8,000 years ago if art began 30,000 years ago. Period. And, well... Those are just the facts. More to uncover as we continue our research into the field. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a dystopian world where science fiction is facts and facts are fiction and, well, there's some friction. We love each and every one of you. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. Yeah.